popping out it's your first show I'm back at it again with another video y'all look at my hair I'm gonna do a 360 she's dry she's dirty I'm not gonna do the do she stink thing because when I was watching that video back it was embarrassing but we are going to take care of that. We are going to do a hair care routine. This is going to be a little updated because there are minor, not dramatic, but minor things that I change within my hair care routine. And I'd love to take you guys for the journey. Y'all get to watch and see and implement in your own hair routine. You remember this setting from the last video, but this time we just have more oils. My hair care routines are almost never complete if I don't pre poo pre pooing for me is like, Mm, toasting my bread before I made the sandwich, you know? It's just one of those things that has to be done for it to be a complete masterpiece. As you guys know, I never put my oils in the microwave. I always put water on the stove and then I take an aluminum plate and I put it over and then just let it melt. My oil is hot now and I turn the stove off and I'm going to carefully Pick it up so I don't burn myself. We have our concoction. So in this concoction, we have coconut oil, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, and castor oil. Y'all know before I do anything, I have to split my hair off into sections. So that's what you see me doing here. If you're like me and you have low porosity hair, you want to spray your hair with warm water or wet your hair with warm water before you moisturize because that's how you get your cuticles to open up and your hair would allow moisture to come in. Another thing that helps with low porosity is deep conditioning with heat. That's why you see me heating up my hot head. I actually need to get another one. I've had it for years. I love it. I cannot go through a wash day without it. I was so mad. That water was so cold for no reason. That's what I get for using my mom's shower though. <laughs> for shampoo and conditioner, we're going to be using the Function of Beauty Coily Hairline. Function of Beauty's products are paraben-free, sulfate-free, cruelty-free, and they're vegan. This shampoo is sulfate-free, which means that there are no chemicals in it that will strip my hair, which is why I'm able to detangle with it. Now I'm going in with their conditioner. This conditioner is so moisturizing, which is a plus for detangling, and it leaves my hair smelling so good. This is my first time using Native Strengthening Hair Mask, and I have to say, I'm actually going to keep it in my rotation because I really like the way that it left my hair feeling. My hair actually did feel stronger after using this product. I have to start implementing more protein treatments into my hair, especially because I'm on a growth journey with my hair now. So I need all the Strengthening Hair Mask. Okay, so it's the next day and 
Last night, once I rinsed the mask out, I literally just braided my hair into four braids. I'm gonna explain this later. <laughs> but I braided my hair into four braids, four sections, and I did that under the water. So it, I could use the weight of the water to break my hair down to stretch it as much as possible. Now I'm moisturizing my hair, applying my leave-in and my oil, and this oil is like the star of my hair care routine this time around. I am using OGX Renewing Argan oil of Morocco. This here, you can either try it in the way that I'm trying it to see if it works for you, or you could figure out your own way on how to try it, but this right here is my holy grail. So moving on, I'm going to turn this side into this side. So I just moisturized my hair, like I said, and applied my oil, and it feels so silky soft. I'm getting ready to do mini twists. Let me know if you guys want an updated mini twist tutorial. I haven't done one in So I'm going to take this braid down. So since my hair was washed last night, it's like a tad bit dry. I don't want to dampen it or wet it, but I'm just applying like a little bit of water on my hands. And just rubbing that into my hair, just to give it a little bit of life again, if that makes sense. This is what we're using. This by far is one of my favorite leave-in conditioners and it makes it very easy for me to heatlessly stretch out my hair. And it smells so good, the mango in there. It really gives me mango for real. This section is all moisturized and continual. We're going to add our oil. I'm really not exaggerating when I say this makes my hair feel like silk. It's insane. So because I'm mini twisting my hair, I really want my hair to be stretched out as much as possible, heatlessly. So that's why I'm braiding really tight and I'm also brushing my hair as I go down. So now tonight, or maybe tomorrow morning again, I will take these braids out, brush them out, and braid them again. And that'll be the last time I rebraid them before I style my hair and get to see how much stretch I really got in out of doing this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!